Welcome to Hiking with John and how to capture Aurora. You need three things, basically. One, space weather, yes please. Two, earth weather, no clouds. Three, dark skies, no moon. And on April 17th at 1 a.m., we had all three. The activity level was nine out of 10, so that's a high Aurora forecast. And weather permitting, very nice northern lights displays would be visible directly overhead in most northern communities. And the weather forecast was minus three and clear. Perfect. And it was going to stay clear for the four hours I'd be out there. Now what about that moon at midnight? It's still on the horizon, but by 2 a.m. it's long gone. Perfect. And now we check our astronomical twilight chart. When that starts, we stop filming. And on April 17th, it was 4.07 a.m. So our dark sky ends at 4.07 a.m. Now let's take another look at that Aurora forecast brought to us by the Space Weather Prediction Center. Basically a 30 minute forecast of the Aurora's probability. And where I'm located that night, I have about a 50% chance of seeing the Aurora. And that's my location in Northwestern Ontario, Canada. And the Space Weather Prediction Center provides a nice animated display of the previous 24 hours auroral activity, plus a 30 minute forecast uh, ahead of your current time. And let's take a look at a map of the Dryden area. Population approximately 8,000. And that's where you'll find sleepy old me. Cup of coffee, I'm wide awake and ready to head down to the swamp. The swamp has excellent dark sky conditions for nighttime photography. And that's facing north. Now this is footage I shot four nights later. I tried to catch the Lyrian meteor shower, I didn't catch any. And the aurora forecast that night was at a four. And as you can see, there was no aurora present. It can be an elusive target. All right, let's get going and make our way down to the swamp. Yo, bear. So here we are in the daytime swamp where I was shooting the Aurora that night and I was set up right about here. Nice. Except, look at all that light pollution. Arg. So then I grabbed my camera and all my stuff and I ran this way. It's pitch black, inky black. I couldn't see a thing, also that was in these pussy rolls, and I didn't know it was the most awful thing. And then I found this spot, which was perfect. Got that nice hill right there, blocking the light pollution out. I still had a good shot of the aurora in the northern sky. And then I set it up right about here, like that. Nice. Now with that set up, it was time to set up a fire and warm up. And after warming up by the fire for a little while and taking care of a few chores around the fire pit, it was time to get back to the camera and check on the action. Yo. 
Joe Bear. It was an Aurora Borealis adventure. And so I made my way back to the camera and looked north. Wow! After admiring the lights for a little while, it was time to head back to the fire and get it warm up. Having a little campfire is a nice way to relax while your camera's doing all the hard work. Shot this on a GoPro 9. And as time passed, the sky began to brighten. And it was time to go collect the camera and check out the final shot. Yo, bear. This is my good footage happy dance. <laughs> and with the Aurora captured in my camera, it was time to head home. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Isn't that crazy?